Hello and welcome to this Power BI video. We are continuing our tutorial series and in today's tutorial we are going to discuss two DAX functions that are related and related table. So let's start. So what I'll go, I'll go to my uh, sales table and in the sales table, let I wanted to bring uh, the brand. So brand is an item table. It has one too many join. Let me check it out. So the relationship so the relationship between item and sales is one to many you can see many here and this is one here and i want to bring some information from this table maybe it has pricing information but i don't have that but i want to bring the brand information so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new column out here and i'm going to say new column and while creating this new column so let's say call item brand and I can say like related now because it uh, the item is on one side I can say related item brand now this is one to many side those are related tables so as you can see I am easily able to get the brands from the so we have done so so from one to many side I am able to get now what happens if I have to let's say get sales of the item from this one so I'll delete this column I created but we'll try it again fine so what now I need is I need the item table should contain the sales sales what has what has been done for a particular item so let's see does related work for us so what we are going to do is we are going to call it let's say item sales and then we are going to say related and if I try to type sales, I don't get the information because for the one information, there are many columns which are available. Some kind of aggregation is needed. OK, so what I'm going to do here is then I will say some X and then let's say I'll say sales and then I can say sales. OK, so but is it going to give me what data is it going to give me? Let's say try net sales. So so you see I am not able to get that okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to tell it as related table sales and then let me try net sales so I have a net sales but this is a major I don't need this so let me try sales let's say I have cogs I have cogs amount I have discount amount gross amount I have net okay so let me take net so with the help of related table I am able to get okay so and then this is only for this item this is not the complete number repeating let me again try for the net sales at that time we were giving the wrong name let's say so we say sum x sales and net okay and you will see the difference now now this is the complete sale so this is there is no relationship used as uh, at this time so we are getting the complete sales similarly if you simply say some x on item and some column it is going to give the complete sum so unless there is a relationship established which we have actually used related table so we are not going to get that particular value okay when we are creating the column now same thing can be used in case of major also so how in case of major let's say I want to create a major where I want to say let's say take want to take price from the item table right now we don't have but let's assume the item ID itself is a price okay so what I can do is I can say some X okay and I can say sales in sales let me see do I have quantity yeah I have quantity now I will say related I need to multiply it so related item and item ID is the only number right now I have so what I'm going to do I'm going to take item ID and I'm assume that item ID is my and I can call it item price sales and I can bring this here I can bring this here and I can plot it against the item
okay so this way i can get so i'm getting different number similarly uh, you if you want you can also use uh, related table in um uh, some x so you can say item or you can say sales because i am plotting by item so sales and sales quantity not much of difference when you even say sum of quantity so but just uh, for showcase purpose i'll just tell me that you can still use it okay but now there is a error let's see what is the error sum x cannot work data type string okay so are we using data type string let's see 1.0 okay so data type of the quantity might be string that's why it's not working we have corrected by multiplying by 1.0 so if you have a text which is basically having all the numbers and you forget to uh, you know convert it into a data type simply multiplying it by 1 or 1.0 depending on what kind of data type you want it to end up you can do that so try these functions out do let us know what else you wanted us to try in this series thanks for watching this video subscribe to our channel press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new video thank you